So I'm going to first start with adding an element to the queue at the rear. So to this function, I'm going to require an input variable so that I know what is the element I will need to add to the queue. This function only adds a value to the queue, so it has no return type. The first thing I must check when I add an element to the queue is whether the queue is full. So if rear reaches the last element or when rear equals to the last index of the array, then we say that the queue is full. We don't want to continue with our code further because there is no scope for adding an element, so we return. The next check we must make is whether we are adding the first element of the queue. So we are going to check if the queue is currently empty and this element is going to be the first element. If front is equal to minus 1, we say that the queue is empty. We could have also checked whether rear is equal to minus 1. They will both give you the same result. So if the queue is empty, we must initialize front and rear to 0 and add the element to the 0th position of the array. So now we have added this element to the array. Our work for the first element in the queue is done. We can return from the function. Now when we come to this line of code, this line of code runs for all other operations of addition into a queue. So this is the normal operation of adding into a queue you will write here. So the first thing I'm going to do when I want to add to a queue is I'm going to increment the rear by 1 and to this new rear I'm going to add the element. With this my function comes to an end and so I can close the bracket. This is how you add an element to the rear of a queue. Now let's look at how we are going to delete an element from the front of a queue. This function will have no input variable since we are just deleting from a queue, but it will have a return type because we are going to delete that element. We are going to return that element which we delete. The first thing we check when we delete from a queue is whether the queue is empty. So if front is equal to minus 1, then the queue is empty. And then we return from the function. We cannot give a blank return statement. We must return with some dummy integer since we have given that the return type is int. So we have checked whether the queue is empty or not. Now, the next thing we have to check is if we are deleting the very last element of the queue. So if there is only one element left in the queue, that is if front is equal to rear, the first thing we must do is we must store the element which we are going to delete in a temporary variable. After we do that, we are going to reset the front and rear to their original values, which is minus 1.
after having done this we are going to return that element which we have deleted which we have previously stored in temp1 now that we have done this we have completed what will happen when there is only one element left in the queue after this we come to the code which we will write for every other element which we need to delete so all the normal cases so when we delete from a queue we are going to first store that element which we are going to delete in a temporary variable so temp is going to equal to array of front I'm going to increment front by one so the queue no longer keeps track of that element and then I will return the temp with this I come to the end of delete front now over here I could have also given array of front but that is the same as array of rear since front is equal to rear so this is how you write the code for add an element to the rear of a queue and delete an element from the front of the queue.